Mark Thompson is back with me. He's Skyping today. And he's the host of the morning show, Make It Plain, on Sirius SM Progress, Progressive Talk. Mark, welcome back. Good morning, uh, Jesse Lee, and, and happy Indigenous Peoples Day. <laughs> you know that's what your day is, right? You want to start out with that, huh? This yeah, is, is, is Indigenous Peoples Day. It's not Indigenous. It's not uh, uh, whatever else they call it, diversity. It is Columbus Day. So happy Columbus Day. Well, I, I don't I don't celebrate Columbus Day. Why not? Um, Columbus was the beginning of genocide in the Western Hemisphere, first with the slaughter of the native indigenous people and then with the importation of your ancestors and mine as slaves. Um, you can't discover something. Uh, to quote Dick Gregory, who would have celebrated his 85th birthday this week, I can't, if you sit in your car, I can't discover your car while you sitting in it. And I just take your car. Uh, Columbus took this land from the Native American people. Amazing. And, and so the, the sentiment nowadays is to recognize today, not as Columbus Day, but as Indigenous Peoples Day. I think everyone would admit now that uh, <laughs> no. settler colonialism. Everyone was, would not admit that. When, well, so most people would. When the Aztecs were sacrificing their children, was that genocide? No, no. They, they um, first of all, we don't know that they did that. But second of all, no, we do know. G g genocide is a systematic slaughter of a whole people. The Aztecs didn't slaughter their own whole society or their whole people. Um, that just didn't happen. Columbus was the beginning of the slaughter <laughs> of an entire race of people. Amazing. That's wrong, but amazing that you would think that and say <laughs> it out wrong. loud. Yes. <laughs> For the folks who might not be aware, uh, you are you, would you are you liberal or conservative or where do you stand in us in that area? I am on I can be described as a liberal, uh, progressive, um, generally, more specifically, though, I'm an African-American uh, freedom fighter, a nationalist, and a pan-Africanist. So and I'm on that side of the spectrum. And is it true? I read that you are a Reverend. I didn't know that you were a yes. Reverend. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I well, thought you knew that. Uh -uh. No. And, mm -hmm. and do you have a different name for your Reverend, being a Reverend? No, no, no. no. I was given... Um, um, there's an African name that was given to me when I was in South Africa, and that African name is uh, Matsumela Mapfumo. But you know, I, people call me both. Some people call me Matsumela. The name I was born with was Mark Thompson. That was the name my mother gave me. But I was given an African name oh, okay. when I went to South Africa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And are you a Christian? Yes. Oh, okay. So, Mark, I want to talk to you about uh, gun control, President sure. Trump's President Trump latest antics. Antics. And uh, but, um, as you know, last Sunday, a week ago, this past Sunday, there was a, uh, a domestic terrorist attack in Las Vegas. And instead of the godless liberals, the children of the lie, dealing with the real cause, the first thing they did before the dust could even settle is call for gun control. What do you think about their reaction to what happened, and do you think it's a gun problem or a human being problem? Well, first of all, Jesse, uh, let me commend you for calling it domestic terrorism, because there are those on your side who still don't want to use those terms, so I commend you for that. Uh, as far as a, a godless liberal, I guess I would probably <laughs> fall in that category by your <laughs> logic, because I was one of those who said that uh, we need to do something about the gun problem uh, in this culture, in this country. We have a culture of guns and uh, that culture is one um, that has been uh, developed, uh, incited um, and really um, cultivated by the NRA itself. And, and I tell you the strongest evidence of that. You and I are talking about this this morning, but in a lot of the mainstream media, We've moved on from this story, the slaughter. We move on from every one of these incidents because we're so used to them. That was the 
272nd mass shooting in this country on the 275th day of this year. Um, and so the proof that we are caught in this culture that is cultivated by the NRA and perpetuated by the NRA is the fact that we're so anesthetized and numb to these things when they happen to keep happening and we do nothing about it. Other countries have solved this problem. We're supposed to be leaders in the world. We mean the United States. We need to solve this problem, too, and do something about the proliferation of guns. Amazing. Um, I am a lifetime NRA member, uh-huh. and I know truckloads of members of the NRA, and they're really just good people. Uh-huh. Um, and my question to you, you said that these type of acts are carried out and we just move on because we're just accustomed to it now. And that's why the blacks, so-called leadership, the media and others are not dealing with the black on black violence that happens every day around the country. Are they accustomed to it now and it doesn't bother them? They just move on? Well, I, I wouldn't. The word I use is not accustomed. The word I use is being anesthetized. And by that, that's an indication of a level of helplessness. Within the African-American community, uh, we do not control the influx or the flow of illegal guns into our own community. And why not? You s- well, we just don't. But why uh, don't um, the men, the black men, if they were real men, they would have control over that. White men control that. They don't just let so guns most black come men into do. the— most But what black happened to men. black men— Men are not shooting each other. What happened to black men, adult men, that they don't stand up and do what's best and right for their own community? Most of us do. Most of us do. But you have some. But if most did, it wouldn't be out of control. Um, well, it's no more out of control than it is in a white community. People commit community. That's what, not Vegas true. was white on white violence. No, Jesse no, no. Lee. That's no it's comparison. Not. No, yes, it is. What's the difference? What's the difference between an African American shooting up? Black folk and 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 ninety percent of that is gang related crime violence. Vegas was not even that. Vegas was was the worst drive by ever. You you don't even see in the black community a drug dealer or a gang banger shooting up fifty nine black people all in one place and sending five hundred of them to the hospital. So if that's black on black violence, Vegas most certainly was white on white violence. Where are the white men standing up to to prevent that? Now watch this. As I've said, as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, as a black minister, the violence that is committed within the African-American community is appalling. It is tragic. And it must be addressed. It's evil. But but it must be. Well, what's evil? Would you agree that the black on black violence is evil? It it, the the causes because black people aren't evil. The causes black black people are not evil. What do you mean? Well, I mean, you, I think you wanted me to say that black folk are being evil. No, I it's said the, the violence of the black, black on black violence that are evil. It is the trafficking of illegal firearms in the black community that is evil. When you impoverish a people, leave them with no despair, no economic hope, and you just dump a bunch of guns, dump truckloads of guns in their community, what does one expect to happen? When you bring illegal drugs into a community to fund um, the Nicaraguan Contras, as Reagan did, so, that was Mark, evil. Mark, let me ask. So you're just to be clear, you're saying that, yes, Jesse, the black drug dealers and the gang members who are bringing these guns into the black communities uh, are evil. No, I'm saying you, that. Are you saying those I, people I, I, are I'm not saying, evil saying, or they I'm are saying, evil? I'm saying that the system of white racism and white supremacy that creates Those drug dealers, those drug crimes, (laughs) that gun violence is evil. So you're saying the white man created the black drug dealers and the gang members, and it's the white man's fault that they are bringing these guns into the urban areas? I I think I said a little more articulately than that. I said it is the system of racism and white supremacy because African-Americans do not import the guns or the drugs into their own community. They are dropped off with us. And then by the same token— Law enforcement primarily focuses on the African-American community outside of any other. But Vegas was an example of white on white crime. 
Let me take a Where break. Are the white male fathers? Let me Where take a quick break. Country? Trump is it, Trump is a white daddy. Wayne Lapierre is a white daddy. In honor of uh, Columbus Day and my country, I have on my shirt today, straight out of America. Isn't that nice? You see it, Mark? You said straight out of. It's straight out of, man. You got to yeah. say it right if you're going to wear the shirt. <laughs> That's right. He was so, like, what you know about that music, Jesse, that you playing? Uh, soul music. I mean, in L.A., look at you. Look at you. I got to come out there and see what kind of music y'all got out there. Look at you. <laughs> That's All right. that good music on the radio. I want to go back to a couple of things you said. Then I want to squeeze in some calls for you because yeah. everybody and their mama want to talk to you. First of all, <laughs> <laughs> first of all, you know that we agree that it is, well, you don't agree, but this is Columbus Day today. Did you know that had it not been for uh, Christopher Columbus and white people that there would not be an American because the Indians was sitting back getting high instead of building or creating a country. No, they had their own society, civilizations, and systems of governance. And if people would read a book by a great scholar by the name of Dr. Ivan Van Sertima entitled They Came Before Columbus, African people first came here to establish trade and commerce with the indigenous people. And this was trade going back and forth as early as the 1300s, before Columbus was ever even thought of. Um, if Columbus had not come to America, we probably wouldn't have the needless slaughter and violence we have <laughs> human culture today. They brought uh, uh, this level a, of, of killing and disregard Mark, for other people based upon the color of their skin. Mark, it's amazing how you people... Did this, did that. It's amazing how you people come up with a... a, a a false illusion about things. It's like you don't really deal with reality. You make up stuff that doesn't exist, and then you live by that. I don't know if you really believe it, but that's oh. not reality. But Jesse, you know, is the reality is you know you're not white, don't you? I, I, absolutely. What does that have to do with anything? Because you 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 can't you, you tend to speak from the perspective of one that cherishes white culture more than your own. And then you cherish Is the worst in it. Is that what telling I mean, the truth? Wayne LaPierre. I'm telling the truth about the situation. For Columbus of today. Is that? And he is the reason for what happened in Las Vegas. Um, is telling the truth considered being white? Uh, no, no. Saying that if it hadn't been for Christopher Columbus, we all would have been a bunch of uh, uncivilized savage, savages. Civilization, another great book, Civilization of Barism by the great Sheikh Antajop. Um, it, it it was the European culture that was barbaric, not ours. Let me <laughs> ask let me ask this. First of all, the NRA is not responsible in any form of fashion for Completely what happened in Vegas. But let me ask. I have said over and over again on this show, not one black politician, male or female, not one uh, 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 black police chief, male or female, or uh, a mayor or governor or congressperson or senator or preacher has been able to, even a black president, has been able to do anything good for black people as far as taking out the crime, dealing with the drug dealers, dealing with the gang members, stopping the out of wedlock birth. Uh, abortion, and so along come the great white hope in President Trump, and he is the only one who is doing something that is enhancing black people. My question is, why what? is it that prior to the great white hope, President Trump, no other black person has been able to clean up the mess in the black community communities around the country and, and the lives of black Americans. Why? But that's not true. Well, who? Who has done something? First of all, y your premise is that the entire African American community is in utter disarray and chaos and savagery. That's not true. The majority of African Americans I ask you, who has done anything to clear up the black violence, black on black, to bring jobs back, so who's going to then clean up the white violence in Vegas? No, no, no. We're just talking about the black. You keep pointing to Vegas.
Vegas. The, the 59 black folk didn't get shot up. Amazing. 59 white folk got shot up. So what happened to black men and women that what not happened to white one, men and women not when they one, get shot up? Not one has been able to do anything good for the person community. has been able to do anything about white on white violence. Let me go to Michelle, uh, Louisiana, because we ran out of time here. Michelle, okay. thanks for calling you on with Mark. Yes, uh, Jesse, thanks for having me on. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, I want to talk to that gentleman because he <laughs> is really directing what happened in Vegas, and not all just what happened in Vegas, but he's directing his comments towards a race. And what so, so, so is Jesse Lee, Michelle, talking to me about so black on black thing, violence sir, and what on, I'm sir, doing about it. Thing, hold on, Mark. It's not black on white violence. White. What are you white folks doing about that? Mark, hold on. Okay, it's, see, hold on, Mark. It's not about black and white. It's about the condition of the heart. And it's sin. Yes, a white man did that in Vegas, but it was a condition of his heart. It right. was sin, evil, wickedness. What Brother Peterson is trying to tell you, and you are a pastor of the gospel. You need to be trying to bring out people's sinful heart than putting a label on people's color. You're it's supposed blood, to be telling people that they need to change their heart by accepting in dark Jesus places. Christ and Wayne what he has done for them. Instead of trying to label anything about black or and Brother of, Jesus of doesn't Lapierre's say condemn heart. the whole black race. He say not I'm, all, not all, but most. He is correct. He's sir. not. And are, are you white, ma'am? No, I am African American, and I'm saying oh, you are what we would call an Aunt Jemima or Miss Butterworth. Sir. You ought to be on a pancake. Hold on, Michelle. What you Most say? of the black race. What did you say, Mark? Is not fallen. What did you say? You call her what? I said for her to, to be black and to say most of the black race is no good, as she just said. I didn't say most, you, sir. I you did, said you did, not I mean, all. Did you not all, just say most. most? Yes. And you call they her. Are. Why oh, is you it said that, most black people are what? Mark, why is it that she has to be Auntie Mama in order to point out what's wrong with black people? What does she mean by most, though? Because because yeah. most most black people are lost. You know why? Because they got preachers like you in churches that don't stand up. Okay, I misunderstood. I thought you were saying like Jesse says most of us are lost. Cross. I apologize. You're not saying that. You agree with me? I'm saying most no, of us I don't are agree okay. With you. Every community no, and every I don't agree society. With you. You're you're labeling black and white. It's a condition of the heart. A condition of the heart right. killed those fifty nine people. You need to talk to Jesse man. about that. I didn't come on and talk about black folk. He asked that. me about black folk. <laughs> you need to counsel Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. You need to pray over Jesse and counsel him. Hey Mark. Uh, uh, Michelle. Why don't you do something about Jesse? You live in California, Michelle. Mark, Go by there and see him. We're gonna have to have you back for more time, all right? We have more time. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Man, be cool, brother. All right now. <laughs> 